-hmm. Are Jokic and Murray the best duo in the game? Yeah, I do. I, I think they're, they're easily, actually, the best duo in the game. Uh, and this isn't about uh, 2K ratings or one-on-one uh, -on -one bucket getters or uh, aggregate stats totaling, you know, total points between your two best players. This is about how they affect the game of basketball, which is a team sport. So let's start with this because right now, if you're the Miami Heat, you've got your two best defenders, Bam Adebayo and Jimmy Butler on Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic. Couldn't ask for a better situation. Let's run it. They get to this low pick and roll. Eventually it gets to a switch and Jokic gets the ball in the post. Now, he's gonna survey the field. So he's gonna wait. Murray is in this little loaded position. Bam, loading to the basketball. Nikola Jokic has his eyes dead set on this action right here. What is gonna happen here? And what makes Jamal Murray so special is his ability to play off the basketball and on the basketball. So a little rip screen here. They don't want to switch it because Michael Porter Jr. can cut to the basket and get a dunk. They stay at home. Easy Jamal Murray three. Again, moving without the basketball, playing off of Jokic. Then Kyle, Kyle Lowry had just hit two threes. It's a 10-point game right here in the fourth quarter. What do you need? What do you need? We can always go to the two-man game between Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray. So they're going to get into this action right here. Jokic rolls to the short roll and watch Jeff Green right here behind the defense. They they create so much for everyone else. And that's why they're the best duo because they impact the game not just with their scoring, their passing, their playmaking. Everybody on the Denver Nuggets relies on these two guys and this duo. You know what? I have no argument about them being the best duo in this postseason. I'm not ready to crown them for as being the best duo overall uh, because, again, it comes down to the best player in the league conversation. It, it's fluid. It, it fluctuates every single month. It fluctuates every single year. One minute is Steph. One minute is Giannis. One minute we may say Clay and Steph is still the best duo. The next minute we say Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum the best duo. KD go to Phoenix. They the best duo. In this postseason, absolutely. You have no argument whatsoever for as Jokic and Murray being the best duo in the league. I have zero argument with you on that, JJ. The last point I made is the important point here, Perk. It, it, it's not about individual skill it's not about individual stats obviously mm -hmm. we know Steph is great we know KD and Book are great we know Tatum and Brown are great it's how these two players complement each other that's Absolutely. what makes them the no, best duo no, right now no. that's what made them the best duo in the regular season that's what what's going to make them the best duo next well, season but we wasn't saying they were the best duo in the regular season Hell, I don't know if any one of us on this panel or in the media I heard picked the Denver Nuggets to even win the damn title. In this postseason, they have been the best duo. But we can't sit up here and say that we all were saying before the postseason started that we was banking and saying that your, uh, Jamal Murray and Jokic was the best duo in the league because we weren't. I wasn't prompted the question. Okay, I wasn't prompted to the question. You. And I'm just to be clear, I'm just telling you. I, I picked Denver in every series, and I said after the first two games against Minnesota, this is the team to beat. Yeah, but JJ, before the postseason, did you pick the Nuggets? Because I remember you saying about the Celtics being the well, best team. No, no, in the no. League. So you're you're 100 correct. I didn't pick anybody before the the, the okay, okay, the, okay. The no, no, postseason no, no, started. Right. And right. and and to be fair, to be fair. I was pretty harsh on Denver. Seven and ten their last 17 games. They rested guys. Mm -hmm. They punted some games. Multiple uh, game losing streaks. They they treated the last 20 percent of the regular season like it was the preseason. I didn't like that, and I and I and I called them out on that. Yep. Definitely, I'm in no position to dispute it because I was on I was all on Boston. I was thinking Boston and what they brought to the table and how they were going to avenge what transpired last year in the in the NBA Finals. But I would like to add, you went up against Minnesota up and coming, but not necessarily there yet, okay? In the second round, you went up against Phoenix. You got to ride 
Devin Booker and Kevin Durant because you traded away half your team to get KD. So depth was an issue against Phoenix. And then, of course, with the Los Angeles Lakers, I mean, you handled your business and you swept them. I'm just looking at them and I'm saying, I, say, com- say no, I would have liked to have seen Devin against the Minnesota series. The revisionist history really from you, let Stephen let A. I feel like I know, we're dancing know, around know, this know, debate. Are we debating this or not? Are Jokic and Murray the NBA's best duo? I didn't say post-season. right now they are. I said NBA's right best now they duo. Are. JJ saying what? yes. Yes. You're saying no, Perk. So yes. who is it? No, I, no, I yes. didn't say no. My last you said, said only right for now. the postseason. I'm said, not talking about okay, the postseason. Well, I'm just well, saying best what, duo period that's, in that, the NBA. That, that's where we at. We in the postseason. All I'm saying is, is that the all I'm saying. Oh, you Answer the question, Perk. This one? You Answer the question, Perk. Answer. No, it's just like we're dancing. We're not debating. Like I'm, we're dancing, I'm not dancing around the debate. I'm not, I'm not dancing. I'm not dancing about nothing. My I'm mood, I'm I mood said, was good until we heard you singing. I'm mood was good until we heard you singing. Molly, I, I mean, said, that's what I, I said. That the they're, I said that the they're the best duo in this postseason. Okay. The, all right. The reason why they're dancing, as Molly puts it, is because there is no debate. Jamal Murray and Nicole Jokic are clearly the best duo in the NBA. All we can judge it on is this postseason because they've proven that they're the best duo in the NBA. They beat Kevin Durant and Devin Booker. They beat LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Joel Embiid, James Harden, none of those guys showed up when it mattered. If you want to go by pure talent, it's Kevin Durant and Devin Booker. They pushed Denver to six games with no bench and no Chris Paul. They're both great one-on-one players that can put up 40 in their sleep. But JJ Redick just pointed out that Nicole Jokic and Jamal Murray complement each other, and it leads to more wins for their team. Of course, next season, that could change. They could get hurt. They could fall off. But if you're trying to force a debate on what JJ Redick just said, you're not going to get one. He made valid points on how they complement each other, and he even had game footage to back it up. I know that First Take wants to have debates, and they want people to disagree with each other so that way it can spark a conversation. But there are times where everyone just agrees. The topic has such a clear answer that there's no need to have a debate. I wish First Take would allow that more. Instead of having the whole show be a shouting match and everyone disagreeing, they could have topics like this, where everyone agrees, but they can still share their opinion. But that's just what I think. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Who's the best duo in the NBA right now? And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more NBA content just like this. And I will see you in the next upload.